Welcome back to Trails with Dale. It's our mushroom edition. Welcome to fall in the lower mainland. We have traveled all the way out to Bunsen Lake Reservoir Recreation Area near Port Moody to explore the Bunsen Lake region for mushrooms and what we can find um, close to the ground. So, we're so gonna which go, way? We're going to go take uh, the uh, number two trail, which is the South Beach Trail. We're going to go and take a look especially low down, close to the forest floor, because that's where we'll find a lot of the uh, fungus in the forest. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Pacific Northwest, because it gets so much rain. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms love rain. We're going to find lots, hopefully. All right, here we go. You ready? All right. All right, so there's lots of these white ones around, hey? Yeah, little tiny you... mushrooms that are coming out of the forest floor. Over there. But even up, I noticed here on the salmonberry branch, there's something even cooler. Another type of mushroom. Amazing. <gasps> Look at that, eh? Wow. Just along the edge, all these little cups. And this is called bird's nest fungus. Wow. And bird's nest fungus is different than our capped mushrooms, the ones that look like an umbrella. Does that look like an umbrella? No. Not at all. It's, it's actually like a, like a cup. Yeah. yeah. And so when rain drops down, it hits the cup and it splashes the spores out. Beautiful. In these case, the little spores are in a pack and they're all uh, little waterproof packs that can spill out. And that's what people often think are little eggs. They imagine, oh, there must have been a little bird around here that laid little eggs in this cup. So bird's nest fungus uh, loves to grow on salmon berries and we got lots of it all around here. It's really amazing. Why does it pick a salmon berry? That's probably where the fungus lives and what the fungus eats is oh, that decomposing right. salmon berry branches. Because these are the these are the fruits of the okay. Completely, yeah. Wonderful. These are the fungus. You getting it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We found something called witch's butter. Yeah, right down here, it's a, it's a really cool jelly fungus. Give that a feel. Isn't that uh, real awesome? It jiggles it's and jellies. It's so jiggly. Yeah. And, and so it's slimy. It is slimy, <laughs> isn't it? Wow. Yeah. So it's always good to kind of get an idea of what a mushroom feels like as well. Some of them aren't in those caps shapes, but uh, uh, probably the most common question about mushrooms is, is it edible? Right. It what doesn't do look edible. It doesn't me. look no. edible. I yeah. wouldn't eat it. Yeah, it's always good if you don't know a mushroom not to eat it. And in this case, it probably is, is a weird texture anyways. It would make your salad look really beautiful, but might not make it taste all that well. So looks a little chewy. Yeah, looks <laughs> a little chewy. Maybe like jello. Yeah. Yeah. This is my favorite kind of mushroom to find, these oh, yeah? ones on the side. What kind is this one? Yeah, you see them in this case uh, year round because it, it uh, is hard. Give it a feel, you can feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, these hard mushrooms uh, often grow on the side of wood. And is this tree living or is it dead? Well, it's a little bit squishy. It's made of a lot of living stuff, but if we look up, well, you can see it has no top. It's been topped. It's dead. Okay. <laughs> so this uh, tree, uh, this, sorry, mushroom is actually eating this tree. It's decomposing it. It's turning it back into the soil. Mm -hmm. So all these things like plants on here, this moss is yeah. just living on here. This okay. is actually eating this tree away. Okay. And eventually it will it'll help decompose it back into soil in the forest. So it's kind of like a zombie in that sense. It's like the eating dead things. Right. Yeah. And uh, underneath, if you, uh, you can give it a feel, you can see it's the same kind of thing with all mushrooms. That's where the spores are produced. And there's tons of little tiny holes. And as this shakes, if it's dead, it, all these spores will fall out, creating new mushrooms, which you can might see some here, that are starting to, to form on the same tree. Cool. So here's an unusual mushroom. Uh, this one is actually growing uh, not in a cap shape, but in a kind of finger long shape. And give it a give it a brush. Brush that. Whoa! Oh. Yeah. All the little dust spores. Dust, yeah. Actually, yeah. that's what it is. Instead of being protected like an umbrella shape, this one has its spores just along the outside. And as you brush them, whew, they go off into the 
hopefully to land in the right spot where they can grow another fungus. Cool. So this one is on an alive tree. That's right. So how does this one, um, so this one eats live trees? So this one is not decomposing okay. uh, material. It might be living on some of the stuff on the bark. Mm. Uh, so uh, not actually getting in and, and eating the tree, uh, but uh, pretty neat one. Yeah, yeah, super cool. Carbon antlers. Very creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Good one for Halloween. Yeah. We're back. Yeah, fall is a great time to go for a walk in the woods. We saw so many awesome mushrooms. Yeah, we saw like lots of varieties, some real oddball ones. We saw the bird's nest fungus, mm -hmm. which was uh, the little cups on the side of the, the salmon berries. Little fairy teacups. Yeah, they were really cool with little eggs. Saw the uh, slimy jelly fungus. Yeah, that, that, super gross. Uh, that witch's butter. Also the harder shelf fungus that was growing out of the trees. And even one more. The, the dust, the smoke yeah, antlers. The carbon antlers. Carbon really antlers. The ones that had the spores that were coming out of that one really up high. Weird, eh? Yeah, that was a really creepy one. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, DL. That was a super great day. You're welcome. It was awesome. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. And if you liked this video, there are many more Trails of Dale episodes to come and on our YouTube channel. And if, if you'd like to support Science World, which is a charitable institution, you can go to our website, scienceworld.ca slash donate. Thanks so much. See you on the trails. See you on the trails.